We've got the Nokia 5800 Express Music, a device formerly known as the Tube on the Internet Rumor Mill. This is Nokia's first S60 Touch device. It's uh, S65 edition. Very simple block design. You can see on the front there's very few controls. There's call, send, and end, and then the S60 menu key in the middle. A dedicated touch key that brings up media functions, which we'll show you a little bit later and a camera for the front. On the right hand side we have the camera shutter button, a spring-loaded lock key which quickly locks and unlocks the phone. It's in a nice position right here underneath your thumb when you're holding the phone in your right hand. And there's also the volume controls right here. On the left hand edge we have two covers. One is for the micro SD card slot both covers are a little hard to get to. There's an 8 gig card in here right now. Shifts with the device. On the other side here, equally hard to get to, is the SIM slot. On the top of the phone, micro USB. It's just for data for syncing with PC Suite and things like that a three and a half millimeter headphone jack and a very regular small Nokia charger plug lastly there's the power button on the back of the device we have the 3.2 megapixel camera it has a Carl Zeiss lens and two LED assist lights for flash stylus also located in the back stylus is um, not very good it's very very thin thin, kind of a sharp, a little too flimsy, a little too short. It could have fit something a little bit longer in here I feel, um, but either way, except for the handwriting recognition which we'll show you a little bit later, uh, you really don't need a stylus at all, you can use your finger. On the bottom there's nothing much except for the microphone hole and this little tab which helps you pull off the back. Back fits in with two little notches here on the front and then just clicks on. Overall feel the device is pretty light, um, also pretty plasticky, it doesn't feel really solid. Uh, no real creaks or anything, you're not worried about it being delicate by any stretch but it just doesn't have a real super high quality feel to it but considering it's not a real high-end device that, that's kind of understandable. We're going to take a look at the two main home screen views on the 5800 Express Music. This is the contacts view. You can put up to four contacts here and then when you tap on one of them it gives you quick access to doing things like you know sending a text message. There's no other information in terms of calendar events and things like that though so I find this to be a little bit inadequate. If you spend all your time contacting four people, then yeah, maybe this would be a good one for you. So instead we're going to switch the device over to more conventional active standby look. It's called the shortcuts bar. And see what we get here predefined shortcuts along with calendar data and also music when there's music playing. See down here at the bottom brings up the dial pad as well as the contacts list. Interesting thing with the contacts list is when you tap on the text entry block it brings up this little keyboard and you start typing in a name. You know, Putting my own, I'll type O and as soon as you hit the first letter the phone realizes what other characters are possible at that point based on the contacts you have. So if I type R, we got OR, and the list is narrowed down considerably. If we were to go so far as to hit ORY, then only the orals are going to show up. If you look closely up at the top of the 5800, you see a little, two little black sensors there. And what they are, they're face sensors for when you're on a phone call. So if we just dial a random number, Activate the speakerphone so you can see it's on a call. The service you are attempting to you see if I simulate putting my face here, 
using my thumb on the sensor, you can see the display goes on and off. Message 